Hey guys, I'm back with episode 26, and as you n may have heard in the last video, I said my tree farm was for keeping my boiler with fuel. So, I set up a quick and easy little system. It starts with my AE system. I manually put the wood from the cargo manager into the system. It's exported into this ender chest. And then from there, it's the same ender chest kind of. When this inventory is empty, it'll pull wood out. And because this is a hopper, it automatically feeds into the powered furnace and that smelts it into charcoal which can then be used for fuel to power everything but my powered furnace is kind of moving slowly so what I'm going to do Let's grab a stack of steel, go over to my rolling machine, and make steel plates. And with these steel plates, I can take a furnace and eight steel plates to make four steam ovens. I did my math wrong by a lot. And using those four steam on ah well it should be eight steam ovens, so I'm gonna make another one. Using those eight steam ovens, I could go in here and place it down, but I thought ahead and made myself a gray, white gray, white gray, white gray ender tank full of steam and I have another one down here somewhere I thought or did I not place it I didn't place it there we go extra steel plates there and we can see that the steam ovens worked and by setting up the ender tank correctly it fills up with steam and I'm actually going to take my system from up here Ah, that one was facing the wrong way. And again. There we go. So... Um, 
actually, I'm going to do tank full energy pulser. So, as long as this is full of steam, it'll be putting wood into the steam oven. And just to help it along. There we go. And if we watch the steam oven, the best part is that it actually smelts this whole side at once. And I just want to pull out continuously. And because I'm using the charcoal to fuel my steam boiler, eventually, and my steam boiler is being used to power this, it's an ongoing cycle. But because of how much charcoal it takes to produce this amount of steam, this is actually giving... Oh, that's a problem. So, I noticed a little problem we have with, or I have, with this, uh, system, and it was, it continued bumping. This was not fast enough to keep up with my energy bolter. Oh well. But, that's how that works, and... I'll be back in a bit. Hey guys, I'm back. And I want to make a few things using my steel. And wait. There we go. So, I made 19 blocks of steel, and I'm going to need a few more steel plates. So, I'm going to make 16 steel plates. And the last one, there we go. So now, using steel plates and blocks of steel, we can get steam turbine housings. enough. Then I'm going to make 24 turbine blades if I had enough. Looks like I did not. I am using a lot of steel for this, but 
it should be a big help. Yeah, I will not be able to finish making them. Oh well. What I can do is take the turbine blades that I do have and the two blocks of steel that I have to make, er, one block, yeah, two of three blocks of steel to make some turbine discs. And uh, grabbing some liquid ducts and glass fiber cable. Going to, or yeah, I'm going to build this right here. And we get ourselves a steam turbine. Now linking all of the liquid ducts up to our steam turbine. Nah, I'm forgetting words left and right. Okay. I will not have enough. Yeah, I don't have enough steel to make another turbine disc. So. I'll be back in a bit once I can make that. Hey guys, I'm back. And I turned off my raised mini map because it helps my game run a little bit faster. But, anyways, I was able to make my third turbine disc and I'm combining all three of them to make a turbine rotor. And I'm going to disconnect that so those are no longer making power. And put my turbine rotor in. And nothing's happening. What did I forget? Seeing if this helps at all. Probably won't. Yeah, that didn't help. Hmm. What did I do wrong? Oh. That might be why. There we go. Helps if you actually have this oriented correctly but anyways this is now producing power and it's going slower than my MFSU is using it and the turbine rotor will last a really long time it looks like with 30,000 durability Oh well. But my turbine rotor, or er, steam turbine, helps me to produce more power. So when I am running my mass fabricator, like I currently am, the power drainage on my system, or power draw, is less than it was because I'm now producing more well actually no the, the power drain is still the same amount but because I'm producing more it takes longer to drain that power there we go wow those break really easily oh well I think that's about it for now, and I will be back in a bit.
Hey guys, I'm back, and I know it's past the wrapping up point, but I'm not too worried. Anyways, I got myself two wands of the apprentices, one thaumium axe, which is just some thaumium and sticks to make a thaumium axe, some air shards, and some water shards. So I'm going to take three water shards and use that around my wand of the apprentice and the infusion table says that it wants 16 jellum and 4 tellum so good place to get jellum snowballs and tellum is arrows and I need four tellum. Throwing those in the crucible. And then providing a wand. I now have all the required stuff. And I can make myself the wand of frost. But I'm not stopping there. Using the wand of frost and a thaumium axe. It says that it wants 16 instrumentum, 16 aqua, 8 modus, and 8 lignum. So, a good source of lignum and modus is trapdoors. Uh, another good source of modus is rubber. Instrumentum is flint. And aqua is clay. So I should have everything required. I'm gonna let the water in the crucible boil. And we now have everything. And we get ourselves the axe of the stream. The axe of the stream is really cool. And it also it's kind of not the best. Here, let's chop down this tree. Yeah, it's taking forever. Yet I get the achievement getting wood. My achievements are being weird in that they aren't staying. So, anyways, that means I got wood. But I'm still continuing to chop down this single piece of log. Or wood. It's weird. Except that the axe of the stream is really awesome in that if you could just barely see it go across my screen, there was some wood that flew at me. And there's more. And you can see the breaking particles. And the whole tree is gone. And also part of it's stuck in the tree. But that's the axe of the stream. You can use it like a normal axe, or you can uh, right click and use super speed as I call it, but that has a downside to it in that it takes a lot of the durability. Anyways, using my other wand of the apprentice and three air shards, oh, wrong button, there we go, it wants 16 potentia and four tellum. So, Nicolite for the Potentia, and again, Arrows for the Tellum. Oh. And we have everything, and we get ourselves 
the wand of lightning. Sweet wisp. Where'd it go? Yeah. Just have to aim close to it to actually attack. Oh, and I killed the wisp. I really like the Wand of Lightning in that, one, you don't have to aim as much, and two, I now have a ranged weapon. Still hitting it even though I'm not aimed at it. Just not hitting it as often. And one downside is the durability is not the best, except it's not an expensive recipe. Broke it there. So, yeah. And I'm going to have some fun with this Wand of Lightning. And just be mean at the same time. And even though I have a tree farm, the axe of the stream comes in handy when chopping down like spruce trees that I don't have a tree farm for so that I can get a new type of sapling if I wanted a new type of tree oh yeah on the white knees also oh well I think that's about it for this episode, and that was a giant lag spike. Oh, rain, that's a good reason. But, I'll be back next episode, and that's, yep, be back next episode.